Okay, we've got a couple of more figures from Studio Miniatures, and these are figures from John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, so you can see it's McCready and Childs. Let's have a little look. So really nicely detailed figure. So it's McCready with his trademark sombrero, and he's got a uh, flamethrower. So all I've done is glued the figure to the stand and then used a bit of green stuff just to fill the gaps as you usually get in these slotter bases. Uh, the same with Childs. Childs comes in his blue parka or you can paint it a different colour and have endless arguments with other fans about whether he's changed his coat at the end of the film which he hasn't. Um, so yeah so really nice figures. Um, on a bit of a thin kick at the moment we're just starting a new uh, podcast over on um, neozaz.com um, and it's going to be called The Thing in Character yeah so that should be good so by all means go and visit that it won't be up for a while at the moment we're still going towards the end of the Mad Max in Character podcast but uh, worth a look or a listen you can look all you want, you won't see much. Uh, yeah, so these will be really fun to paint, I think. So the first job is to undercoat these. Just going to use Poundland Rattle Can Grey. And then we can come back and start painting. Okay, so undercoated them in just grey primer. You can see some nice detail on them. So what we're going to do is paint the fleshy flesh flesh bits first. This is Cadian Flesh Tones with a little bit of light Alejo Flesh. And then for Childs I'm going to use uh, some Rhinoxide. Which is right at the back. Just some Rhinoxide for Childs. So we'll do that and come back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put some flesh wash, just some Reichland flesh shade into the face of McCready. There we go. Um, the wash won't work with the uh, child's figure, so when we highlight, that's why I did it slightly darker flesh colour so that should work okay for that so we'll let that dry come back okay so you're going to dry brush some slightly lightened base colour flesh over McCready uh, Childs I'm going to use some Blood Reaver flesh Okay, so next I'm going to paint in the eyeballs. And there's Charles. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is do the hair. So Close some paint pots, terrible at closing. So for McCready, I'm going to do Rhinox hide as the base colour for his hair. I'm going to finish that and come back and we can paint his eyeballs in, his pupils, retinas, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so yeah. Uh, and I've painted his hat as dry, so we're going to paint their eyeballs. And for that, I'm going to use, uh, use some black because they're so small. There we go. And I'm going to dry brush some colour onto the hair. brush some lighter brown 
some Blood Reaver flesh. Let that dry, and we'll carry on. Okay, so face is pretty much done. Cards came out well, so what I'm going to do is start painting the clothing. Which I'm not going to show you all of that because you've all seen that before. So McCready's undershirt I'm going to do in a light blue. And then you always paint in sort of the order as it as you would have got sort of dressed so the stuff that's closest to your skin. Do that first. McCready basically sort of uh, olive drab. Um, a lot of sort of one piece coveralls he's wearing with a brown leather jacket, uh, brown sombrero, black boots, quite dusted, um, and then child's blue parka. I need to check out what colour his pants are. And then we're just going to start building it up. Okay, so. They're pretty much finished painting. I've just got to dry brush some white over them. It's coming out really nicely. I've pre-painted the base white and I'm going to use, once I've dry brushed them, I'm going to use um, Valhalla Blizzard. It's like textured paint for snow. We'll see what that looks like. But first job is let's get some white. Just going to use ceramic white. And do a little bit of light dry brushing just to bring out some details. You could go to town on charts if you wanted, if you were doing the scene at the end. When he's uh, frosted white, and people think he's in a different colour coat. Okay, so let's have a go at this Valerian, not Valerian, Valhalvan. So let's have a go at this, it's the weirdest stuff. So basically it's like a, a textured paint, see? Very strange, so what I'm going to do is use it to Build up the bases, it looks like there's snow. There we go. When it dries, it does look a great deal like snow. Can you see in there? So I'm going to do that to McCready, do the bases, and then we'll come back and see them when they're finished. Okay, so the figure's finished. Let's have a look at them. So McCready, the base is still a little bit wet, but you can see the snow finish works really well. It's like a textured paint, looks like snow. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way. There's something not quite right with his hair for McCready, so I might have to study some photos and try and do something. I'm not sure what's wrong with the hair, but the rest of it is absolutely spot on McCready, I like that, it's good pose, really good. And then Charles, who I didn't think was going to come out particularly well because it was quite quite soft. My lights just flashed there, did you see that? Um, he came out really well. I really like his, his look and again the snow base, that texture snow does come out really well. It looks awful when it first goes on because it's wet but as it dries it does look like snow. I've done a little bit of red at the end of the flamethrower. So all in all, I think because there's so few thing figures out there, I'd love these two. I hope they do the rest of the the cast. It'd be nice to get an actual thing. And I did think about making a head, you know, like getting a, just get a little head and making the Norris's head, the spider head, which I might do. If I do, I'll do a little video on it. But yeah, they're really good, worth checking out. And I think they were about four quid each, something like that, so an absolute bargain. But if you want to see more of these style figures, please let me know um, in the comments. And thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. 
uh, all subscribers gratefully uh, welcomed into the the viewing family. Um, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Thanks, Ed. Bye.